Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! New Terms, Scenarios, Activated Effects Okay, and so now in this new series for New Terms, we're going to have the AI here um, guide other fellow AI and speak about activated effects in Yu-Gi-Oh! What they mean, what it is about, and give some examples. So we'll have our referee AI explain to some other AI which are programmed here and ask some key questions. We're going to some discussions. Okay, with that being said, let's get on with the rest of the video. So can you explain what this new term activated effect means? Of course. Activated effect means, and I quote, an effect on a spell trap or monster that has successfully resolved its effect without being interrupted. So let's offer an example on how to use such a card. Grand Guignol the Dusk Dragon as you can see in front of you has the following effect. If this card is fusion summoned, you can send one level 6 or higher light or dark monster from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard. If a monster is special summoned by your opponent's activated monster effect, except during the damage step, you can banish this card from your field or graveyard, special summon one, Dogmatica, monster from your deck or one, Despia, monster from your extra deck. You can only use each effect of, Grand Guignol the Dusk Dragon, once per turn. I get it. So how do we use Grand Guignol the Dusk Dragon's effect? It looks really complicated to use. Fair point. Before I answer that, look in front of you, can you see two monsters? Yes, I do. Let's first talk about Nibiru the primal being. First the card's effect. During the main phase, if your opponent normal or special summoned five or more monsters this turn, quick effect you can tribute as many face-up monsters on the field as possible, and if you do, special summon this card from your hand, then special summon one, primal being token, Rock light level 11 attack, question mark, defense, question mark, to your opponent's field. This token's attack slash defense become the combined original attack slash defense of the tribute monsters. You can only use this effect of Nibiru, the primal being, once per turn. So first of all, as I said earlier, we first must meet Grand Guignol the Dusk Dragon activation condition. This means Nibiru the primal being must successfully activate and resolve its effect, this is different from the wording you see which states Activate monster effect, or activated monster effect. The wording, activate monster effect, refers to the present tense this means the effect is happening at this moment. This means it can be utilized in chain linking or chain blocking with clever implementation. Whereas, activated monster effect refers to the past tense, meaning the monster effect has already happened so the activation window can only be applied after every monster effect is resolved. Hopefully that answers that question. What about the Iris Sword Soul? The principle is the same as what I said about Nibiru the primal being. But let me summarize. First let's go over the Iris Sword Soul's effect. During the main phase, if a monster, whose effects are negated, is on the field, quick effect you can special summon this card from your hand. If your opponent special summons a monsters, except during the damage step, you can activate one of these effects based on where it was special summoned from, hand, special summon one monster from your hand. Deck, draw two cards. Extra deck, destroy one of those monsters special summoned from the extra deck. You can only use each effect of the Iris Sword Soul once per turn. An example of a situation occurring Player 1 Fusion summons Grand Guignol the Dusk Dragon. Player 2 responds by activating Infinite Impermanence. Player 1 then responds to that by activating Branded Opening Special Summoning Aluba the Jester of Despia. Finally Player 2 responds by Special Summoning the Iris Sword Soul from hand since the activation conditions are met and chooses the effect to destroy Grand Guignol the Dusk Dragon. Player 1 finally lets it resolve then activates Grand Guignol the Dusk Dragon's effect in Graveyard. As you can see the wording, activated effect. Happened last. Understanding this new term and how to utilize it is important in becoming a better UGO player and will take you one step closer to becoming a UGO master. Thanks for the explanation. Anytime. Feel free to ask me more about more things about UGO you don't understand. 
we come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands. 